from fresh milk to homemade cheese in about 10 minutes. Another bright, beautiful morning. I think Laura Jean's making some bread. Go and see how everybody is. Mmm. Hi, Emmy. I can't even describe the amazing smell. Oh, I love that smell. It's nice having these warmer temperatures, especially the sunshine. Our sunroom does quite a bit of the work nowadays. Well, I'm going to make some cheese today, and it's going to be a fast, easy recipe. So if you have any of your own fresh milk, this will be really easy to make, and you can actually make this kind with your um, sour store milk too, if you want. So what I do is I just pour some milk in here, which is really fun to watch. I'm just doing a gallon recipe right now. But here's the thing about me and recipes, we don't really get along, so I just kind of wing it every time, and sometimes it turns out great, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll see what happens today. <laughs> So I'm just heating up the milk. Make sure it's on. Yeah, I've just got to keep it from burning on the bottom. And since I only have a gallon, and I've got it on high, got the gas on high, it should only take a couple minutes, maybe two or three. So I'm just going to make sure and stir it. Usually where this recipe goes wrong is I burn it. <laughs> okay, I've been stirring this for about two minutes. Um, the temperature that I'm going for is actually quite warm, but not warm enough to burn you. So it should be, I always test it with my wrist or part of my hand. And I'm kind of just, I want it to be pretty, pretty hot almost, but um, not hot enough that I could ever burn myself if I had my hand in there all the time. So I need it nice and hot so it reacts quickly with the acid that we're about to pour in. And in this case, we're going to use just regular white vinegar. This is about the right temperature now, so. 
set that aside. Okay, now this part is very cool. Come close and check it out. All right. It's like science <laughs> happening. Right here. I probably just used more vinegar than I normally would, but that makes the reaction go faster and it's more obvious what's happening. Look at that. It's already making cheese. So far we're only like three minutes into this cheese making process. What's happening is the, the acid is causing the, the proteins to coagulate. So it's separating the milk solids from the liquid, which is just the, the whey. So this is real, super cheap, super fast. Oh, it's already cheesy. Wow. Really fun. <laughs> it's already cheesy. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. It's awesome. So this cheese does have a, a slightly vinegary taste afterwards, um, especially if you use as much as I just did. But I think it kind of gives it nice flavor. And most of that vinegar comes out when you, when you squeeze the cheese curds like we're going to do in just a minute. I'm just going to grab some random bowl that we have available right here. We just feed our way to the pig. Waste nothing. <laughs> it's a great thing about having a pig. You'll never waste a scrap of food again in your life. So I started with um, just over a gallon of milk. And what's funny is I'll get just about that exact same amount of whey Don't left over. And yet cheese, this okay? cheese is there. Too. It's, um, it's crazy. I'm sure it all makes sense if I were to weigh it out. You know, it hasn't really gained anything. And of course I did add some liquid in the form of vinegar. So for every gallon of milk you get about a pound of cheese. I think a gallon of milk probably weighs about eight or nine pounds. And right now this looks like a you know, two or three pound block of cheese, but it's also got a lot of moisture in it still. So I don't have to use a cheese press for this. It's soft enough cheese and a strong enough curd that it's really easy to press the, the whey out of it just by hand. It does take a couple minutes, but it's not, not, not very hard. And the more whey you get out of it, the drier your cheese will be, but also the easier it will be to melt and it'll hold together longer. And I did use whole milk, so this should be a nice creamy cheese. This is usually about the time I start to get impatient. But if you don't press enough of the whey out, it'll just get kind of a watery uh, residue when you, when you melt it. And nobody likes watery pizza. So. Okay, so <clears throat> you may be asking, now where's the rennet? I've heard that cheese is hard to make because you need this special thing called rennet. That's true if you want to make hard cheese, but this is a, as this is a soft cheese technically. And it's not going to be a ripened cheese at all. Um, which isn't a problem in our family because we eat it in the first day anyway. Um, so if you were, want, were wanting to make a, a fancier cheese, even something like a cheddar, you'd have to use the rennet, which, which I'll show you how to do in a later video. It's really easy. You can buy rennet at the grocery store. So I'm just going to sprinkle salt in here. For this much cheese, I'm probably going to be good to add, oh, maybe two, two and a half tablespoons of salt. Here's what I do. Just have to break up the clumps to get all the salt in there. I'm always surprised how much salt I have to add to cheese to get it to taste right. And on the other hand, I'm always surprised how little salt I should add to butter to make it taste right. Don't know why that is. Looks like popcorn, because it's because it's in the popcorn bowl. You're right. <laughs> it does kind of look like popcorn. It doesn't smell like popcorn. Cheese and like popcorn. <laughs> Alex, do you want to try it now? See if you like it. It's salted now. I think it's too salted. <laughs> Is it too salty? Actually. I like it. I think I just got a mouthful of salt is all. Oh, well, your hands but, are salty. Yeah, they are. But now that I've... Yeah, it's good. It would be better if it was That was close. 
Give it a smoke, dude. You wanna get the, <laughs> you wanna get liquid smoke? Our kids like it with liquid smoke flavoring. It's actually really yummy that way. Okay, I'm gonna. Yeah, so it's too salty on the surface, but not salty enough on the inside. So it, it will it will start to soak in. So I'm hoping that that will be the right amount. So it's not an exact science. <laughs> I like smoky cheese. Yeah. Oh, vanilla. <laughs> <laughs> it looks the same. <laughs> anyway, it's really good though. I mean, it's great on on Laura Jean's flatbread that she makes, the pan fried bread, and it's great on uh, pizza. We made pizza a lot before, smells especially gross. with zucchini. Yummy. It smells gross. It smells like vinegar, <laughs> huh? You love it. You want to try it? No? What about when it has smoke flavoring in it? Okay. So if you wanted something that was like super exact and like having a lot of particular directions, then I guess this is not the cheese for you. <laughs> but it's yummy. And it's really, it's really easy. Like it really it only takes like three minutes to make it. <laughs> yeah. I think cheese making is more of an art than a science. Um, same with bread making. Um, it, you know, bread, you were telling me, honey, that it Depending takes on the temperature of the day, it takes a different amount of water. Yeah, and how fresh the, how freshly you ground the wheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheese is, cheese is really similar. Um, it, a lot depends on how old the milk is. Um, it's actually really typical to, to wait a day. Set, the, set your fresh milk on the countertop for a day, or like 24 hours before you ever make the cheese and it's begun to develop a little bit of its own acid and a little bit a better flavor and better cheese making ability. So yeah, it's art and a little bit of science. <laughs> That's the cool thing about art and science. <laughs> Time to add liquid, liquid smoke. And we like being generous with the liquid smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Ding! <laughs> Ding! You're right! <laughs> mm. I don't like it. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah. And here we go. I, I cooked it in the microwave for three minutes, and it's gotten quite toasty around the edges, but that brown is partially from the smoke, the liquid smoke coming out. But uh, look how melty and stringy that is. It's awesome. It's actually kind of like provolone in the way that it melts. <gasps> that cheese? It burned you? Yeah. It doesn't taste good when it burns you, huh? You want that oh. one, man? Let's see. Yeah. Hear me? Yum. <laughs> Careful, it's a little bit hot. Should we blow on it? Mmm, is it yummy? How, how yummy? It likes me when it's hot. It what? It likes me when it's hot. It likes you when it's hot? Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do it. You are, just be careful. Okay. Hi, big guy. Is that hot? Oh. I think I got a bone. Hey, look! This is My favorite part hot? is this part around the edge. Oh my. Me too. Mm -hmm. That's very good. I really like the crispy part around the edge. <laughs> that is interesting. This slightly toasted stuff around the edge literally tastes like <laughs> Buttered caramel. No, I, don't, I don't know how that's possible. It actually tastes like caramel, like candy caramel. Yeah! Candy caramel is like hmm. a little um, I don't know why or how, but it does. It's really good. Haha. <laughs>